emptied out my soul. You've heard it all before, honest, but I know. Uh -huh. Hello and welcome back for a new episode of my golf training vlog. I'm Mr. D, but you, my friend, you can call me Thomas. And today we are exploring the transition. This is an understanding I had, and actually, in my mind, I was thinking about, okay, you have to do the backswing, you have then to do the down, the transition, then the, the downswing, and so on. And uh, the edge in my head were actually extremely uh, sharp. And, okay, I do that, then I do that, then I do that. And, and by understanding how the motion works, I realized that actually the edge between all those motions should be relatively blur and that when you think about it you realize oh yes actually this is because uh, we have categorized the back swing the transitions the down swings the release and or any other actually way of uh, categorizing the different parts of the swing just to trying to understand but at the end of the day this is just one motion one flowing fluid motion that is going on from the moment you are taking the club back from the ball to the moment you are actually finishing your your swing in the final position way after you have hit the ball and so that's normal each part of the swing should it be blurred this is basically having a transition between every part of the swing between the takeaway and the back swing you have a transition that occurs between those two and so and this is this is going on and on because even between this transition and the takeaway you have a little transition that is going on and so this is not something that is actually discretionary this is something that is continuous without any plan and so understanding each part of the swing is a good thing to start but then you need to really develop an awareness of your swing on how you can actually go and move beyond those uh, elements in your swing to actually create an overall motion that is working together to achieve a singular goal, which is hitting the ball with consistency. And so one of the things that I understood is... Um, I was trying to work on the, the transition and doing actually so um, what uh, the, uh, I found that uh, the, the doctor known and um, and try and I keep on working on, on this where you actually rotate uh, you actually uh, how can I explain that you you are pushing with your the, the transition the, the rotation I put by pushing your right leg into the ground really hard uh, this um, create a force toward your right hip and right shoulder for them to go back and by doing that if you are just not having any weight not uh, pushing into the ground with your left leg naturally you are going to end up falling to the left side and this naturally actually create the transition motion and 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 at the beginning of the swing, because of the momentum of the club going back, this compensates actually you falling down to your left side. But as, as soon as the back swing uh, reach the uh, half level where your arms are parallel to the ground, then the momentum of the club is going to come with you toward shifting your weight to your left side. And so naturally, you are shifting your weight. And what happened at this moment, you should also start bringing down the club and uh, toward uh, uh, the, this is actually the transition toward the transition that is happening. And that way, things are becoming more natural and you are doing the right motion uh, 
more naturally. And I think this is, yeah, Dr. Noll is actually known <laughs> for, for being uh, oriented on biomechanics. And, and now I start understanding, okay, th- this is a very interesting way to think about it, to actually have the motion that uh, is happening naturally rather than trying to do things, trying to shift your weight and so on. And yes, yeah, so that was my understanding during this session. And I tried to apply it. And I'm not get the, I'm not there yet, but 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 I, I'm I'm getting deeper and deeper into the understanding of what I need to do in order to move forward. And this is the most important. You, of course, you are not going to be able to do everything right from the first go. But what's important is you understanding what you are doing in order to move forward, because. The way you swing is primarily a consequence of the the way you think about your swing. Because the, your thinking your create intention, and this intention creates your swing. And this is a complete uh, reaction from your thoughts. And so your thoughts are creating your swing. So if the way you think about your swing is false, then the result is going to be not the, what you expect. So this is important to have a good mental framework, a good mental uh, model, actually, of your swing, a one that is coherent, that works, and then once this model is accurate, then by simply practicing, you will come to the um, to, to where you want to go. And I, I'm going to put back the the oscillation that I have put in a few other videos because this is all come back to this the straight line where you are all where you are going toward is your mental framework. But if this mental framework is not accurate. You are actually trying to to optimize something that is not optim- enfin, that is not uh, correct, and because it's not correct, you are going to change it all, all the time. So basically, you are doing you are training on something that is going to change, and because you are you, it's going to change, it doesn't matter what the training you've done. Uh, at least it matters because you have understood that it didn't work. <laughs> But for an efficient. Uh, to really try and this can happen very fast very quickly and it doesn't require that much effort once you are clear in your mind to what the swing you, are, you want to do is then it requires very little work to actually get there the body is a wonderful machine that actually adapts extremely quickly to 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 what you are to what you want to do The important thing is what you want to do need to be uh, consistent and coherent. Uh, and this is this is the main issue I have because my my thinking about the golf swing has changed, just keep changing over time, over time as I understand more things and so on. And so this is why I'm struggling to really um, to to stabilize my game and realize my potential to be able to score. Uh, so yes. I hope it makes sense. I hope uh, it gives you some insight that uh, you, you may take uh, uh, in your game in order to improve. So I'll leave you there for the rest of the video and I see you next time.
guaranteed that my soul You've heard it all before Honest but I know uh -huh. Left these years ago I was young and I'm old Still care for the void uh -huh. We don't need the past and our lives for tomorrow Never see the end of the night for sorrow What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done What do we do to love?
try to make it all undone so we didn't have to hurt this is a winding road no telling where it goes driving through days and nights won't stop for traffic lights and i i really want to know really want to know if i love figure Falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down.
emptied out my soul. You've heard it all before, honest, but I know. Uh -huh. Left these years ago, I was young and I'm old. Still care for the void. Uh -huh. We don't need the past in our lives for tomorrow. Never see the end of the night for sorrow. What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done, what do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done, what do we do to love?
Even if the sky is falling down 